The woman is the backbone of my family tree. How hard this must be. I see my sisters struggling to see their own children being raised to be successful and happy by themselves. So I thank God for granting me the gift of my poetry for my mom and my sisters and the woman who soon be my wife. Life would not be the same without women to shelter men from the rain. But as men, we cause you women so much pain. As men, we cause you women so much shame. And your hearts are so big that you love us all the same. So I have to say it again. The woman is the backbone of my family tree. How hard this must be for all the single mothers to be raising their seeds responsibly. So I want all the mothers to be honored today. This is the day I want all the mothers going home feeling blessed today because for nine months we did contract and we fight inside of your wombs keeping you up at nights. Your spirits are elevated to great heights many men could never achieve. Every month you bleed and your period comes to be demonized in the society. Telling you to hide it, selling you toxic tampons and telling you to try it, to buy it. The magazines tell you to diet, to eat less, take your natural hair color and diet. Since you're a young child, men teach you that you gotta be quiet, but you grow older, they steal money from you at work, and then they deny it. They pass laws, they even up the pay skills, but they don't apply it, and then they try to justify it, but I tell them, don't try it. Just apply it, because I know some women working a triple shift who don't ever seem to get tired. But a boss will find out that you're pregnant and you get fired. To work in some companies, a blasted pregnancy test is required, but ladies, I admire the fire you have acquired. Because without you, many revolutions could not have transpired. Without you, human evolution would have had to retire. You teach us to love. Your intuition is a gift from above. The story of Adam and Eve, to me, was a fraud. She didn't make Adam sin. Because the apple she gave him came from a tree of wisdom, according to ancient African tradition, where a man could only achieve a higher spiritual position through the intercession of a female intuition. But patriarchy has beaten even to submission by creating the sexist tale of an evil woman who drives the male into sin so patriarchy could prevail. But patriarchy will miserably fail when you start to unveil the mystery of African history and open up your third out of received messages that may be sometimes hard to conceive. Such as the story of Adam and Eve. The story says it was Adam's rib that created Eve, therefore making the story of Adam and Eve about Adam's Eve. Eve belongs to Adam, that's where that story will lead, that's what they want you to believe, that Adam was created first, and then after him it was Eve. But you all know that the day that precedes New Year's Day is called New Year's Eve. Eve. And nobody can deny that Christmas Day comes after Christmas Eve. Eve. So who do you think came first? My answer has to be Eve. She was created first because she's the one who created me, but they're trying to tell me that Adam gave birth to Eve even though Eve has been given birth for hundreds of centuries. The story of Adam and Eve is absurd to me. She was created first because she was the backbone of my family tree and she continues to be. Not as a product of this patriarchal society, but as the empress and warrior that she was destined to be. The woman is the backbone of my family tree.